Our computer challenge today is to take a computer built back in 2009, an HP P6130Y, which has a AMD quad CPU, 8 gig hard drive, which is pretty decent, and 750 hard drive. And it's got a burner and it's got this really cool wireless receiver, which is why I have an interest in this. It might make it into a render farm. My problem is I do not have the password for any of those accounts. And while I don't care what data is there, I just wanted to get into one of these accounts so I can reset passwords and stuff. I can't. But here's a, a neat little way if the original system's recovery disk is intact. We restart the system and we start hitting the F11 key. And what this should do is put it back into the recovery mode. Okay, you get a screen. What we want to do is recover your computer to its factory original condition, right? So we hit next. Microsoft System Restore to your system to an earlier point in time. Well, I'd like to go to the beginning of time. So uh, let's hit no and see what happens. Would you like to perform a systems recovery? Yes. Do you want to back up the data before recovery begins? I'm going to say recover without backing up your files since none of these files are mine. And so they will be lost. Then the system begins recovery. We'll be back once it finishes uh, reformatting the Windows partition of the hard drive. It has finished formatting the Windows portion of the hard disk drive and now it's reinstalling the original content which means I get any bloatware that came from the factory. And we've got about 14 minutes left before it finishes this stage. So we're almost at the end. We are at the end. Recovery is complete. Once your system restarts and you finish the initial setup of your computer you will need to perform some additional important steps. Update security, reinstall software that came with your computer, restore any files that were backed up during the process if applicable. So now I click finish and and now the computer is doing the initial setup as if it were factory fresh. The system reboots on its own and we get our setup window screen and then you proceed through the setup and you have now have access to your entire box. Of course the downside to this procedure is there is no data there it's just the operating system but you're back to a pure clean operating system for this box but now you don't have to deal with passwords that you don't have and data that doesn't belong to you.